Hello and welcome back to this week's installment, Healthy Hydration, The Case for Calories. My name is Caitlin Garrow and joining with me as always is none other than Sword Performance co-founder, Dr. Sean Stasco. Hi there. Our special guest today is none other than the man behind the magic, Sword Performance co-founder and medical advisor, Dr. Scott Black. Thanks for having me. Scott, welcome. We are so glad that you were able to join us today. We've talked a lot throughout this series um, in Healthy Hydration about you and Sean coming together, creating this amazing product line. And correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't it all start in your kitchen? I believe it did. And my <laughs> wife has the, uh, the the dirty dishes to prove it. <laughs> the blender to prove it. Yeah. We wore out two or three blenders, I think. Uh, yeah and quite a bit of white powder dust to also back it up. Sure. We're still finding dust in places that you shouldn't find dust. Perfect. Uh, that's awesome. Um, okay, Scott, so you've come to be known as an authority on endurance nutrition strategies. Will you give us a little bit of your background in endurance sports, sports medicine, and then nutrition in general? Okay, sure. I, I've been a runner for more years than I care to remember. Started out running 5,000 meters, 10,000 meters, and as I got older, got into marathons, had a little bit of success doing that. Never was a, a, a race winner, but I did pretty well in my age group. Then as I got older, I uh, started slowing down, started looking for other challenges, other things to do, and started getting into ultra distance racing and trail running and, and those type things. And, and now I've run everything up to 100 miles. You know, I just really enjoy it. Yeah, you know, yeah, it's a lifelong sport. It's something you can do forever. Training wise, I'm a, I'm a family physician and um, I have a master's degree in exercise physiology, fellowship trained in sports medicine as well. And then also have a graduate certificate in sports nutrition. Wow, that's, that's a lot of really good credentials. No wonder you guys hit it off so well. Yeah talked all day. We had some really boring conversations. <laughs> Gosh, didn't we? <laughs> all right, so you've got a, a really great background, Scott, and, and again, we've talked about this a lot throughout this Healthy Hydration series, um, but can you shed a little bit more light on are calories important for performance, specifically for athletes or folks who are working hard, really exerting their bodies heavily? It's, it's a very complicated answer, but the, the short story is generally, yes. If you're supplementing calories, generally you will perform better. Now, obviously in something that's really short, like 100 meter sprint, you're not gonna stop at an aid station and take in some calories. But as the races get longer, at some point it becomes better to take in calories. It's worth taking the time to stop at an aid station and, and take in the calories. And generally when you get into something that lasts longer than about an hour, uh, you're gonna do better if you take in some calories during the race. All right, so you've answered yes, it is generally important to replace the calories that you're losing as you're exercising. Why, specifically in the sword line, do we focus on calories? All right, well, uh, and, and even more specifically than calories, we focus on carbohydrates. The reason for that is because we have a lot of fat stored in our body, so we don't have to supplement that we don't have much carbohydrates. Ask anybody that's run into the wall at a marathon, the reason it happens at around 18 to 20 miles is because that's about the point that we run out of carbohydrates. At least that's one of the reasons that happens. We need to supplement carbohydrates in order to get to the end of a race at that speed, at that distance. We simply don't have enough carbohydrate fuel stored in the body to get to the end of those longer distance races. Which we've already covered in our previous installment healthy hydration carbohydrates so thank you for tying that all back together with a nice little bow that's perfect so also in in sword we utilize carbohydrates that aren't just sugar so we use carbohydrates that last longer provide a more sustained source of energy over time and also a carbohydrate source that feels good on your tummy which is important especially if you're going to be running nobody wants sloshy heavy tummy as you're bouncing down the lane it's one thing to stop at an aid station. You don't want to be stopping at the Porta Johns on the race. Absolutely. Or, or when you're out on a construction site, the last thing you want to do is make the run for a porta potty. Because let's be honest, nobody wants to spend time in those. No, not on a hot <laughs> day, especially. <laughs> exactly. So, Scott, one thing that we're often asked um, by many different people is, "Hey, I'm trying to lose weight." 
do I need to only use low calorie or no calorie type hydration products or products in general, or are calories good? Yeah, again, it's, it's a little bit of a nuanced answer. It's not super simple. I'm gonna have to say it depends a lot on the situation. And, and at the end of the day, calories do matter. If you're trying to lose weight, you have to be in negative calorie balance at the end of the day in order to lose weight. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you need to be in negative calorie balance during the exercise. Supporting exercise with calories may actually help you exercise better. What we know about exercise is by itself, it's not the greatest way to lose weight. Just simply exercising, you're probably not going to lose weight doing that. You've got to cut calories over the course of the day. So I look at exercise really much more as a uh, as a way to get fit, a way to stay in shape, and a way to improve your health regardless of whether you're losing weight because of the exercise. So I think the calories support the exercise. And what you do the rest of the day is really important as far as losing weight. And that's perfect. That's exactly what we've covered before with uh, registered dietitian Emily Gim, who was again here earlier in this Healthy Hydration series. And Emily, again, Scott, you did a wonderful job tying this all together with a nice little bow. Well, that's it from us this week here at Sword Performance Healthy Hydration. Thank you again so much, Scott, for joining us today. It was an absolute pleasure to see both of you here together in the virtual flesh. <laughs> If you like to see more of this, like our page, follow us, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's it from us. Thanks again. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay hydrated. So I'd really like to get some of those on camera. Particularly, why are you called Heisenberg? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Selling product out of the back of the car. Don't get all the way all the fun. No, he knows. <laughs> he was there. What else do you guys want to talk about? This is fun. I really, I'm really enjoying these horror stories. Good. <laughs> so much for having. No, that's not what I say. That's not English at all. Let's try that again.